Oh, some massive air. South African surfers starting to salvage something at the Belida Pro. Let's hope they come in for one last big charge going into the weekend. Well, time now to track our winter sports in our youth sports report. Brandon Yates, our sports reporter, joins us. Busy week. Um, obviously, school holidays are here, but it hasn't slowed anyone down. Um, what has been making headlines at the moment? Take us through the, the big stories. Well, as you know, um, the junior box didn't have their best tournament, but we did have two individuals that really stood out, and that was Kerwin Bosch, our fullback and superstar yeah. of uh, 2015 and going into 2016 still ripping it up and of course winger Edwell van der Merwe, who had a really sensational tournament there he goes yeah, ripping up the French all, defense eh? he's yeah. got the speed he's got the step you know he's a typical South African winger and he's yeah. someone that will do really well in the future and they made the dream team so a big congrats to those two players who performed really well despite the team and they did really put their hand up and I yeah. think you know the junior box they, they had a great tournament building up to that, to that semi-final yeah. so I think but we, they've we got something to work on going into the next tournament so hopefully the next one will be good I and agree. then uh, and then moving into athletics uh, 18 year old Clarence Munyai another sprinter from South Africa that's ripping it up uh, he's qualified for the Rio Olympics uh, with a qualifying time of 20.39 seconds 18 years old and he's already up there with the likes of Usain Bolt and other international athletes and hopefully he will be sent to the Olympics with that in, uh, influx of I uh, want to know what they are feeding these kids, no what idea. developmental challenge has been kind of clicked yeah. into place at the moment because we are nailing it. And the main thing is that I hope we can take this young talent because at all they are really young and up and coming individual athletes so hopefully we can see nurture them convert, and yeah. see them uh, you know, continue to perform at a later date. And then moving into surfing, Aidan Massenkap and Zoe McDougall, they claimed the under 18 uh, boys and girls surfing titles at the Belito Pro last weekend. So we've got some local surfers yeah. ripping it up as well. Certainly on the junior levels. All right, what's coming up? Some events to look out for, some results to take on board? Yeah, so the SA Schools uh, Championships netball took place over the weekend and it actually just finished yesterday. And um, Gauteng and Western Province performed extremely well. Gauteng took the, the under 18 and the under 13 title and Province walked away with the under 15 and under 12, 12 titles. So congrats to those uh, ladies that performed really well. And then um, going into this weekend, Bishops are hosting the 2016 Independent Schools Rugby Festival. Um, the likes of Michael House, Kersney, um, Eaton from the UK are coming wow. down, so it should be a, a great festival to watch. And um, the players to watch are undoubtedly Kersney's Dylan Richardson and Cameron Ritchie, who both scored hat-tricks against Clifton last weekend. So some excellent rugby to watch this weekend. Oh, I'd love to count the collective years of rugby history amongst yeah. those schools. That's going to be Especially between Eaton and Bishops. I mean, the <laughs> rugby history that goes with those schools is goes back like 100 years, so it should be great to awesome watch. Awesome stuff. Well, you can sink your teeth into a plethora of sporting action this coming weekend. Brandon, thank you so much. Thanks, everybody. But it seems the rugby players are descending on our television screens. The Sharks, in fact, um, are headed to top billing tonight, ladies.